questions, Googling for information yields just the right results. But for college level research, locating and discerning higher caliber resources requires a more thoughtful and skillful approach to the web. For a few minutes, let's think about some effective strategies for finding and evaluating information on the web. To begin with, resources abound for learning how to search Google more effectively. In fact, you can Google how to search Google to find videos, text instruction, and cool infographics designed to make you a more skillful web searcher. In this brief video, we'll offer several tips, but we recommend that you take advantage of the abundance of resources for learning better search strategies. When searching Google, try to use simple, specific search language. One or two word phrases will generally yield the broadest results. You can always refine your search by adding more language, but it's a good idea to start with simple, specific language. Fortunately, with Google, you don't have to worry too much about spelling, but accuracy is always a good idea. Putting a word or phrase in quotation marks retrieves results with that exact phrase. Some language is too vague to be useful. Keep in mind that unique language often yields more relevant results. To search for a specific site, type site colon followed by the site address, followed by a single space and then type the topic you are looking for. Or to quickly bring up the definition of a word, type define followed by the term. You can also search Google for specific file types, like JPEGs, GIFs, PDFs, and PowerPoints. Search for sites that are related to a specific website by using the related colon operator. Google offers an array of helpful resources, so we encourage you to learn about image and video searching, Google Scholar, and Google Books. Tutorials are abundant, and such services empower you for better research. Knowing how to skillfully search the web is important. Understanding how to effectively evaluate the information you find is a crucial skill for college-level research. When you encounter a site, it's important to think about its reliability, authority, audience, currency, objectivity, and coverage. Critical questions should drive evaluation. What does the URL tell me about this page? Who wrote it? And what are the person's or this organization's credentials? Is the information current? Does it seem to interact with or link to other scholarly resources? What is the bias expressed by this information? No matter where the information comes from, it is important to critically evaluate web resources. Let's evaluate this site on conflict resolution skills as an example. The URL provides a good indication of the nature of the website. Depending on the type of information you require, sites associated with governments, .gov, and colleges or universities, .edu, and possibly organizations, .org, can be more reliable or may have less bias than commercial sites because they often are reviewed by scholars and professionals. Remember that .edu sites can also be K-12 schools with student productions, so always be aware of exactly what entity is producing the information. Is the information on this site reliable? Are its publishers experts in the field? I can learn more about the site here, and I can evaluate the authority and credibility of its publishers. I can also see here that the intended audience for this site is very broad, global, and scope. Regarding the currency of this information, I can see here that the page was last updated in May of 2014. This site claims to be a trusted nonprofit resource, and it probably is. Nevertheless, we should always be aware of the potential of bias and compare information from one site with the information from other sites as well. Information in the sidebar provides a better understanding of the site's coverage, the scope of information presented here. All in all, this site looks like a reliable source for information on conflict resolution. 
but it's important that we take time to evaluate web resources rather than taking their messages at face value. Skillful web searching and critical evaluation of web resources takes practice, but if you have any questions, be sure to ask a librarian. Beam Library staff and faculty are here to empower you for more skillful research. We hope we'll be seeing you soon. Thank you.